On Wednesday, Kenya will be marking uh, 50 years since it became a republic. This event is highly anticipated by a group of Kenyans who were born in the year 1963. Yet, though they celebrate the strides of the country that the country has made for the children of the new republic, at 49 seems not to have lived up to what Kenya's full potential should be. KTN's Wilkistan Yabwa now reports. <laughs> On any given day, one is likely to find Joseph Mlala crisscrossing Nairobi's Kibera slum in search of plastic bottles and scrap metal to sell. He is one of an estimated 200,000 Kenyans struggling to eke out a living in this slum. But though his gait and the lines on his face may make him seem older, Joseph is only 49 years old. He was born in August in the year 1963, just over three months before Kenya became a republic. And as he took his first steps, so did Kenya. As he learned to walk, so Kenya worked to shake off the mantle of colonial rule and stand on its own feet. As a teenager, he mourned the death of Kenya's first president and witnessed the coming into power of a new political regime. In 2002, he would, as an adult, witness the peaceful transition of power from the second president to the third president, always holding these events up against the golden age now past. <laughs> In the early years, Joseph held a job in the mechanical engineering department of Kenya Railways. Yet while Kenya has made great strides, Joseph says he and others of his time have lagged behind like the nation's poor cousins, held back in part by Kenya's failure to fulfill its promises to them. <laughs> A section of Kenyans say that Kenya at 49 is like an adult who has not fully realized her potential and they say that going forward leaders will have to address the issue that is the gap between the rich and those in the low income areas. Since 1963, Kenya has pursued development that has focused on eradicating hunger, illiteracy and disease. Literacy levels have risen with the introduction of free primary education. Yet while the country's tertiary institutions turn 800,000 youth out into the job market annually, there are only 50,000 vacancies available every year. This is why Joseph's neighbor, Hamisi, also 49, would like his son to train as a mechanic. In 2011, at the height of the drought, it was reported that 3.5 million Kenyans faced hunger. The urban poor were the most affected as they spend up to 60% of their earnings on food. And healthcare is still inaccessible to a section of the population. <laughs> Yet Hamisi and Joseph speak with a stubborn pride of the Republic whose birthday they celebrate as they would their own. As they age, seeing the Republic born afresh in the eyes of their children and their children's children, in whom they hope their dreams shall be realized. Wilkinson Abwa KTN Sunday night.